Sharon Swartz, and we are at the Cannes Film Festival with Hub Culture on the Future Films boat. Producer Mark Damon is with us today. Mark, welcome. Thank Thanks, you for thank joining you. us. Thank you, Cameron. You uh, have been to the Cannes Film Festival for many years. How many years is this? This is the 37th in a row. Wow. Now, you've seen every everything come and go, you know, the, the blimps cruising across the the Quasette, uh, different boats coming and going, different people in the business. What, uh, being back here this year, how are, are things different for you? Uh, my wife was making the comment that she used to love how, no matter how hot the sun, people were always dressed to the teeth. Can was a cultural event that brought out the best in design and couture, haute couture, and so on, and that. People walked around not just not just in the evening with tuxedos, but even during the day. And today it's very relaxed. And people like myself go in blue jeans, and um, we find it a lot less formal yeah. than it used to be, which is kind of something that's that's been lost, and that I think is kind of unfortunate. But now there's the phrase "casual can," as in. What kind of attire do I wear? Well, just casual can. <laughs> casual can. That would have been okay. unheard of 20 years ago. That's right. Um, but comparing what it was like to what it is today, it used to be that, and, and as you know, I, I had a lot to do with the structuring of foreign film financing through pre-sales. Selling movies abroad, selling, piece by piece. Selling movies yeah. abroad. I remember. In, in one can, basically, we had an idea for a picture. We wrote a synopsis, stayed up all night, wrote a synopsis, did a poster the next day. Remember, we decided to call it Wild Orchid, Passion in Full Bloom. And it was with Mickey Rourke. That's right. And Carrie Otis. And basically, in two days, we pre-sold the entire world. I was able to finance the picture. We went two months later and made it. Um, my last picture, called The Ledge, took me three years to put together. Uh, I had the finance in place two or three different times, it fell out. Um, finally, by convincing all of the actors that it was a great project, and the actors in this case were Terrence Howard, Liv Tyler, Charlie Hunnam, and Patrick Wilson, a great cast that we put together, everybody deferred all of their monies to get the picture made. The picture got made. Now it looks like it's going to open at the Toronto Film Festival. We have a U.S. distributor in place. Uh, we hope it goes on and gains Oscars. But the fact is, is that in order to get the picture made, people just had to, to really sacrifice. And I think that's one of the good things that's happening now. Our Actors and directors and writers are realizing that the times are tough and they want to do good pictures, they want to do important pictures, and they're willing to give up a lot just to be able to get pictures made. And as a result, less pictures are getting made, but I think far better pictures, and I think that that's good for the business. I have a picture here called Recoil, which is being directed by a major director which we will attach major stars to. It has a big budget of about $35 million. Can you share the director's name with us? Yes, yeah, sure. It's Mark Stephen Johnson. Yep. Who did Ghost Rider and Daredevil and so on. Right. <clears throat> and the cast that we put together, or told distributors we would put together, we gave them three names, and we know we will get one of those three names. And with that combination, people see the picture as a clear commercial theatrical piece and you can still pre-sell. I have another picture here um, with Patrick Dempsey being directed by Rob Minkoff, which were written by the writers who wrote Hangover. Again, everybody is deferring everything to get the picture made, and I was able to finance the picture out of pre-sales because the prices were reasonable because a picture that would normally, like this, cost $20 million in cash, costs more like 10. Right. And then when you get, you do, a low-budget picture like the one I just talked about, The Ledge, and see 
that after so much time and effort that you've put in that the picture has come out brilliantly and you can't wait for it to open and see lines around the block at the first opening and when that happens that is the, that's the greatest pleasure of all I mean people ask me why I'm still in the business and I'm in the business for that for accomplishing something that the world says wow Mark that was so worthwhile making thank you great thank you for joining us Mark it's um, it's great to have you and um, we were with Mark Damon producer and his company is Foresight Unlimited I'm Sharon Swartz